Hi, today I want to do a video about Portland and the protests. Um, I'm a native of Portland, Oregon. I was born in Portland, Oregon. So these protests um, where the federal officers are involved is very personal to me. Um, I don't live in Portland at this time, but I own property there and I own properties in Oregon. So, again, it's a personal subject, in my opinion. And the question is, um, wh what we are seeing, is it what we are, is it really what we are seeing? Um, what's really happening here? And I've actually spent um, the past three or four days and nights meditating on this because I feel that there is some point to this that is not as it appears. And I did a, a, a previous video on the KKK um, based upon the astrology of it. I am an astrology student. So I do look for current events and opportunities that provide me a way to um, utilize my skills, and do my podcasts. Um, and I, as a numerology, I'm a, a nine, both nine, destiny, and life path. Um, so I am for the good of all as my main perspective in life. Um, so these things, um, these things are, are, Still naturally drawn to to um, to the, the, these kinds of situations. I feel like it is our our duty as people and citizens to be aware and to and to have concern and and um, and to do our part to do the best we can um, as as humans. And so, right now, the way the way things are, um, is this the best we can do? Is this the best uh, is this the best we can be? Well, I'm pretty sure not. Um, but we have federal officers uh, who are funded by us um, committing acts of violence against us um, because we have the ability or desire to stand peacefully on a corner and say, I don't like what you're doing and I'm not going to tolerate it. So peaceful protesting. And yet what we're seeing um, on some channels on the TV are not really, they don't look like peaceful protesting. Well, I think that what these federal officers are doing in Portland is creating an environment where a scene is being created that produces a certain um, outcome. They want the optics to look a certain way. And I have been feeling since, well, this election cycle, sorry, my shirt, I'm kind of thin and adult clothes don't fit me too well. Um, but adult cycle, oh, sorry, um, I'm feeling that in order for this president to be elected again, he is creating a script that suggests that the only way we can get through this process is to um, allow him to essentially commit acts of war upon us as the people. And of course, that is just not appropriate. Um, all I can say is that um, it is it is it is massively inappropriate um, to to harm peacefully um, objecting people for the purposes of looking like you're powerful, supreme and able to manage the masses. And so with that, 
I want to ask the cards about the Portland protests. Um, I do feel that the Portland protests are largely a propaganda operation to establish that Mr. Trump is handling the business of the White House in such a manner that we should be impressed. Now, I have to say that I think that's delusional, and I think it's terribly sad that anybody would would um, enable someone to believe that that might even be true, but there's nothing that I, as one human, can do about that. So with that, let's begin the reading, and we are, we are looking into the protest. I'm going to put my laptop down so you can see the cards. I'm I was listening to another reader and this issue does come up, so I think it's just best that I just not wait for someone to mention it to me. But um, at any rate, we start out with the Six of Cups, where, you know, this is us, you know, wanting to be a society that we show that, you know, we are responsive to each other. We do care about our neighbors, our 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 other people's lives, and in, in this particular um, sense, that we care about black lives. We, we care enough that, that we want to sit with that. We want to join in. We want to participate in this process of understanding and speaking our minds. But as you can see, it's peaceful. There's no, there's no harm being done to, to anyone. A family playing in the park, you know, just comfortably um, mingling together to represent who they are. What it is crossed by is the King of Cups, this, this energy, this idea. I almost want to say this is this was this is a liquidy idea, this watery idea. That putting down the trident is gonna gonna do something for them, and so I'm I'm not viewing this in the sense of it, it, its courtness, I because I just don't think that it's uh, it's in a courtly sense a, a kingly idea to <coughs> harm innocent people. <coughs> so, with that, I'm just gonna say that I think this this crossing is more meant to be that 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 a king in this point. Um, and his ideas are meant to cross that peaceful, happy family, which I, I believe that is a consistent message with what we're seeing. Um, and that, that this is largely um, a negotiation between, it, it, uh, you know, about, about money, about, about morality, about earth-based issues between people. But notice that a person of color is holding the coin. And yes, we need to do this battle because they are treated inequitably in almost every fashion, up to and including financially. And so, yes, we do need to. These protests are so, they are so necessary. They are so important. We do need to bring forward the well-being of our fellow humankind, black people. They are us, we are them, and we need to do a much better job of becoming one with them. This has been a tough battle. We, they have been put in a position to where the burden has, you know, that they, that they practically have to hide. I mean, everything for, for this movement is necessary. The burdens for the people of color are desperate. And, and I, as a human, want to respond to that. I don't want them to be not cared for properly. this time where we're at is it's like it's a negotiation and we are asking peacefully from a very fiery perspective 
a solution. And we want the solution to take over the air. We want it to be what you breathe. We want you, a two of wands, to be in negotiation. This is in a past position. Nine of Pentacles. Just the amount of financial disparity right now in relation to these protests. The fact that Spirit wants us to also realize that maybe this isn't just a Black Lives Matter issue. Maybe this is a financial lives matter issue as well because we have to live in this world that the elite have created for us and the rules by which they've created for us, the rules of oppression and depression and, and, um, and no matter what you do, they're able to get you. And so we sit behind our wall and, and, and feel forlorn at what we have come to understand about our current political, social, economical, and otherwise circumstances. We definitely feel some deep oppression. Um, in the heart of the matter is the moon. We're being deceived. Those agents are showing up, howling at the moon. We, the domestic dogs over here, we don't have the control that they have. We don't have the ability to pull these, these tricks on such a massive scale. But yet, as you can see, they're both dogs. We're being asked to pay for this. We're being asked to financially support federal officers harming us. And I don't know, I just have a huge amount of issue with not only is this morally wrong, it's deceptive, it's war, and we're being asked to pay for it. Now, I don't like to do political readings and for good reasons, but this is the King of Swords. I think this represents this political cycle being so focused on winning, so focused on the outcome that there is no amount of cutting through the air with words that is too low to go. Or there is no amount of cutting through the crowd that is inappropriate. And that this is being supported only for the purposes of this political cycle to continue. So, in other words, ask yourself, is this okay that you pay for people being harmed for no reason so that this political cycle can continue? In our hopes and fears position, we have the death card. Death does not literally mean death. Death means rapid transformation. But in our hopes and fears position, as you can see, the scythe being carried by the Grim Reaper. And this card is basically saying to us that there is going to be rapid transformation. And notice the moon in the background, as we discussed previously on the in the card at the heart of the matter. Um, the howling at the moon, the tricks. Yes, they're here to cut this process down. They want to end the protest. They want to make it seem like this king, this cycle politically is effective, strong, and capable. But this is a cruel king, so keep that in mind. This is a cruel king who rules with a cruel hand. So, in our hopes and fears, there it is. The death card. The conclusion card is Ace of Swords. There will be a fiery new beginning. So 
at the bottom of the pack is the fool. Well, how nice is that? The beginning of a new journey. Um, I think that the federal officers that are showing up um, in these uh, situations and are in this situation in Portland and, and obviously I'm going to put the laptop back up but in cities near you. Um, I think that this is a propaganda process designed to make it look like we are beating up buildings and creating a lot of chaos, thus further justifying the ends to the means. So uh, that is what I think is going on with the federal officers being dispatched to these particular um, locations. And I do believe we're going to see more of it. And my recommendation is um, really, uh, for the most part, if you're going to protest, please, please be careful. Please take care of yourself because I believe that it is very dangerous. You know, maybe you want to avoid Portland right now and, you know, let those who are uh, courageous enough to do that just to go ahead and be the ones to do that. But, um, you know, I, myself, I'm not going to attend any protests. I am going to remain in meditation and prayer for these issues because I'm by no means capable of handling what the outcome will be. Um, it wouldn't take anything to hurt me. So um, with that, I would like for you to please hit the like, share, and subscribe button. And if you would like a, a reading, I do both tarot and astrology, and I'm an astrology student, please go to my site, www.twiggy.com, and that is spelled T-W-I-G-G-I-E.com. And thank you for joining me here today.